Canada is known for being a very peaceful and diplomatic country. They have a reputation of having a polite and friendly society. But what if all of that changed? What if Canada became a militarist state? What if Canada became a warmonger state? That's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. In this video, you are going to watch the rise of Canada into a global hegemon of the world. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Iron Man mode on, historical AI focus is turned on, let's get started. Let's go ahead and take a look at our country as we've loaded in. So our national spirits are the Great Depression, which give you insane consumer goods factory factor. They also give you a debuff to your output. This is an absolute horrible spirit. Next up, we have conscription crisis among French Canadians, minus 30% recruitable population factor. Another terrible spirit, absolutely horrible. After that, we have Monroe Doctrine. This basically means we're protected from foreign adversaries, right? First things first is our focus. The first focus we're going to be going down is patriation. This is going to move us away from the UK as fast as possible, and that's a good thing. Research, basic machine tools, electronic mechanical engineering, and mortar. Construction, max out the mills in southern Ontario and St. Lawrence. Production, everything into guns we're going to be buying one steel from the soviet union dockyards doesn't matter navy doesn't matter right now air force we'll just go ahead and deploy that over new england army let's go ahead and group this up two armies into an army group just like that we're going to put the guy with the hill fighter trait on the pacific and this guy can go in new england we're going to transfer we're going to turn everybody into cavalry militia and then we're going to train as much cavalry militia as we can and that is our setup. So we can unpause the game now and get started. Now that patriation is done, we have two options here. We can go down, we can go for swastika clubs or we can go for burn the royal portraits. There's also a permanent joint defense board, but who wants an alliance with America, right? That's boring. Now, if we take a look at the fascist path here, AKA swastika clubs, I'm mainly looking at the modifiers that each of these will give us. So this gives us more recruitable population, not bad. War support increased, not bad either. Other than that, you don't get any other modifiers. If we look at burn the royal portraits, we get factory output, recruitable population factor, plus 15%, party popularity stability modifier, plus 15%, even more factory output, more communism support, and subversive activities cost minus 50%, spear of the true revolution, non-core manpower, you're going to realize how important, you're going to see how important this is later on in the game. And a lot of other buffs. And then, of course, the war goal with America. So, as you can see, the communist path is 10 times better than the fascist path, just based on that alone. So, we are going to choose burn the royal portraits. Electronic mechanical engineering done. Next up, mechanical computing. Burn the royal portraits is now done. Next thing is Rawell Siroy's commission, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. For our first political advisor, it is going to be Silent Workhorse. Next research, Concentrated Industry 1. Now that Rawell Siroy's commission is done, we're going to pick up a Chief of Army, Army Offense. Now we're not, we're not picking this guy up because of the attack, knowing that that is good. We're actually picking this guy up because of the experience. Once we turn to Communist, we're going to get a new spear of the army known as ID Ideological... Uh, something I forgot the final word of it, but it gives you more manpower and we need army experience in order to get that So it's gonna be very important that we do get that after that is crown corporations All right, we have enough for another political advisor. We're gonna pick up communist revolutionary Crown corporations done after that national housing act Class conflicts divide the dominion of Canada. Let's see we get more communism less stability unfortunate Honestly, no events is kind of preferred because you just have so much communism gain with the modifiers. After that, Canadian Pacific Railway. We're not going to be going for dollar a year min yet. Another one. Ooh, unfortunate. Concentrated Industry 2. Now we have enough political power for another advisor, but we're just going to be saving up right now. It's very important that we do have enough to become free from the UK instantly. That's very important. Let's go ahead and open up political dis discourse and we can actually do hold the national referendum right after that we are now communist awesome and we can go out and do another focus before we have to start saving up for breaking away from the uk so i think 
What we're going to do after that is Maritime Colonial Railway. Now we pick up Ideological Loyalty. You're supposed to do this instantly, but I kind of... I'm only a couple of days late, so it's fine. But yeah, get that as soon as possible. And after that, we are going to remove one cavalry from our cavalry template. All right, now we don't do a focus at all. We have to make sure our political power catches up with the autonomy progress. Next research is going to be construction one our political power has caught up with the autonomy so that's good we can become free in 30 days three two one zero let's become free now that we are free we want to instantly go down communist labor total war committee we also want to garrison order the entire united states victory points only and there we go just like that also move the guy over to aggressive execution so our spammed cavalry goes straight for those victory points Ooh, let's see Ooh, interesting okay usually don't see this happen often league of nations resolution to support ethiopia all right there is no point in sending our citizens to die in another country despite the official stance some 200 canadians leave to join the ethiopian forces okay yeah construction one let's go for construction two now Total War Committee is done. Next up, mend relations with the Trotskyists. The reason we're not going down this path is because it just seems more boring. Now that we have 150 political power, we're going to get the popular figurehead and get our stability up right there. And we have enough for a doctrine now, so that's good. The doctrine we're going to be going for is mobile warfare. The reasoning, this is only going to be used temporarily, by the way, because... It gives you more division speed and it also gives you it also gives you a org loss when moving buff so it makes you faster which is good which will be required for the conquest of america because speed is everything after that there's not really any research to go down let's go for fuel storage i know we're going to need that in the future advanced barrel forging men's relations with the trotsky is done next up introspective communism i'm going to go ahead and train these Calvary. Now that introspective communism is done, we are going to go for defense scheme number one, which is going to give us a war goal against the United States. Awesome. We have over 60 divisions in the field. That should be more than enough to conquer America, especially during this time. You don't want to really, you don't want to focus actually on defense. It, the defense doesn't matter because the American AI is not smart enough to rush your victory points. You're just going to be the one rushing theirs. All right, defense scheme number one is now finished. Let's go ahead and declare war on America instantly right after that. Very important, by the way, make sure you go for war bonds. It's very important you get this focus done during the American war or else you're going to be in trouble after the war because this focus can only be done if you are at war. Now that we are at war with America, let's go ahead and move our cavalry into all of their victory points. Our troops should be moving pretty fast into the United States right here. Yes, there they are. Looking good. Looks like they are magicians or something with how they be getting these troops out of the middle of nowhere. Make sure your troops don't get too stuck like this. Make sure they're always, if they can move to some place, make sure they are moving to that place. You never want a cavalry division staying still or else you're going to be just wasting it. Yeah. You're wasting more time. Some of this is kind of luck based to an extent you when you have American divisions sitting on the victory points, it can create a problem and make the process go slower. Let's check out their capitulation progress. 49 percent. All right, we're getting there. You got to make sure war bonds gets done before we finish this war. Actually, hold up. Tell me it does get done, right? 60. OK, hopefully we don't capitulate the United States in 70 days. That would be interesting. Okay, uh, taking over the USA in 70 days. That's insane. We should be able to finish war bonds before that time. If we don't, we don't. Okay, we do. Uh, there it is. There's the end of the American War. Roughly 72 days. That was an insanely fast war. First things first, seize the, seize the American Navy, of course, and annex the entire United States. Philippines. Wait, did I accidentally puppet them? Oh, nah. I accidentally puppeted them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I was not supposed to do that, but it is what it is. Now we have to fight the Can Now we have to fight Japan. Okay. Now it's kind of just build up. So 
I now have to focus on Japan. Let's get our production up and running. Yeah, we disbanded our entire military as well to, to make sure we have enough manpower to garrison. Next up, let's upgrade the infantry equipment. After that, we need to do Spirit of the True Revolution as fast as possible. Now that we have the American Navy, we're going to go pick on Japan with this. Anti-partisan. We're going to replace the Communist Revolutionary with the Elusive Gentleman. And now that we have the American economy, we can build military factories everywhere, which is what we're going to do all over Canada. We're rushing Spirit of the True Revolution because it gives us non-core manpower and resistance target minus five. So that's good. There's Spirit of the True Revolution. Next up, we're actually going to go for interwar medium airframes. Get our air force functioning. Wartime prices and trade board. We have enough army experience for the actual doctrine we're going to be using, which is superior firepower. Keeping the resistance nice and low in the United States. Very nice. I actually want to get involved in the Japanese war like ASAP. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start justifying on the Japanese. That's also going to increase our war support. So we're going to do war economy after them. We want to do convoy raiding in Japan all over them. Make sure they can't get reinforcements into China to stall their invasion. I just want to weaken the Japanese Navy as soon as possible because we won't be able to actually build up as Canada. We won't be able to continue the American naval legacy because we have literally no naval technology. So we need to get as much out of this American Navy while we can. And that is usually by going for Japan as soon as possible. So Canada's tech is really trash. You kind of have to build it up from the ground there. Let's see, it looks like we are killing that Japanese Navy. Yeah, they won't be able to move like any reason. They won't be able to move any supply into China. So we should be helping China with this. Limited conscription. We did send in the zombies. Next up, Long Branch Arsenal. We can make more military factories. We're going to do that across the entire United States. Besides the coastline, because I we may, we may actually go more in depth on the Navy later this game. I'm not sure yet. So we want to make sure we have those naval dockyards saved. And, oh yeah, as you can see, our early intervention in J in the Japanese Chinese War has changed the tides of the changed the tides of them. Force Quebec conscription. I want to get rid of that modifier entirely. I'm gonna pick up the I'm gonna pick up Air Reformer for air experience. We're gonna be using the Skull logo. I kind of like them. I don't really know what we should name these. You know what? Let's actually just name them zombies, right? Because that's what the focus was called. Send in the zombies, man. Come on now. Let's go. Wow, we have manpower now. Isn't that nice? Now, now that we've got rid of that terrible manpower modifier, let's get rid of the Great Depression by reactivating the Farmers Unity League. And I can go ahead and start making somewhat of a military. Germany owns Europe. Looks, looks pretty normal to me. Excavation 3, next up, Artillery Upgrades. We're going to start needing to go for these research slots here because it's going to be a, this is going to be a problem in the future. We don't have enough research. I Reactivate Farmers Unity League is done. Next up, National Resources Mobilization Act. That's also going to give us some more manpower. Let's start making this Air Force now. It's a good early game Air Force. Let's do Breathing Fire. And that's going to be our close air support. All right, next research is going to have to be, let's see, uh, Marines possibly, if our inv naval invasion of Japan goes wrong, and we're going to need that. All right, fund the National Research Council. We have our military here, and let's send him to the Philippines to defend us. Okay. So we've definitely, we've definitely stalled the Japanese from invading China, for sure. We're going to have to build some synthetic refineries. All right, there's Fund the National Research Council. After that, we're going to rush defense research grants. So Department of Munitions and Supply. Next research is, is rubber processing and advanced machine tools. Let's do improved worker conditions. Next up, bits and pieces program. There's bits and pieces program. Next up, John Inglis and company. Let's do battlefield, battlefield air interdiction and industry license. Okay, Sweden requests a request trade of knowledge sharing for ball bearings. Sure. It'll give me more production to the planes anyway, right? Now that that's done, let's go for Victory Aircraft Limited. Okay, Navy's done repairing finally. Let's see, next focus after that, we're going to go for Concentrated Industry 4. You're in a bit of a problem now, I would say, Japan. 
The Canadians are coming, Japan. The Canadians are coming. Let's see. We might not be, actually. <laughs> we, we might not be. It's possible. I now know that. It's possible. It's entirely possible. I'm not even sure what we go for. Maybe we go for that airport. We need to get that airport. That would be good. That would be very helpful if we can get that airport. And we go for this port up here, possibly. And then we just go down. That should be good. That should be a good naval invasion. Oh, nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, now that is beautiful. That is what I like to see right there. There we go. Come on, Canada. You can do this. You can do this. Next up, retool Angus shops. And let's go for the... Uh, let's go for assembly line production. Ah, no manpower. Crazy. Okay, extensive conscription. I got the rest of the military moving over to Japan. Let's honestly just push down. Next up, let's see. What's next? Mind the shield. Let's do that. Looking good so far. There goes Tokyo. Let's go straight through them. Okay, we can. We can cut them off here. That's awesome. I want to kind of get... I want to get a encirclement of this area. Nice, we can. We can reduce the autonomy of the Philippines. I'll take it. I'm going to need more planes than this. This is not enough planes. Next up, Alberta. Coal towns as if we need more civilian factories, right? Germany has invaded the Soviet Union. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to go ahead and move these 16 divisions over to Japan just in case they get any cheeky ideas such as a naval invasion. Now we can take Osaka. There we go. Okay, we're breaking it now. Let's go for that. Let's also go for atomic research right now, which is nice. Finish off the Japanese. I'm ready to get out of this war here. Nice. Okay. There goes Japan. I'm not sure if we should annex this or puppet this. I'm thinking puppet is the move here. I think we just puppet Japan. Yeah. And then we can take all of their small little islands over here. There we go. There's the end of that war. Let's pass it some turns. There we go. It's like that. Okay, we have a Japanese puppet as Canada now. Nice. Let's go for uranium mining. What I'm going to do next. Ooh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to seize that. I forgot to seize the Japanese Navy. Oops. Game costing? I don't think so, but it's going to set us back a bit. I'm going to stop researching the atomic bomb and wait till we have uranium mining. So we can get the two times buff from them. All right, next step. We got to interfere in Germany. They're getting a bit too strong over here. Let's start just to find a war goal on them. I'm also going to begin improving ties with the UK. Let's go in and declare war on them. Ask for military access from the UK. <laughs> Germany needs to be stopped. Look at that. Okay, we're going to we, we're gonna need to send the Lindleys to the Soviet Union over here. 5% of everything we produce monthly, basically. All right, there's uranium mining next up. Let's actually finish off atomic research now. After that, I'm going to do concessions for Labrador and Newfoundland. Hopefully, the UK accepts. If the UK denies this, I, it, it, unbelievable, man. That's all I got to say. Yeah, thanks. The Soviet Union's getting absolutely stomped on right now. That's a problem. That is not good at all. Let's make a Marine Division, though. Just to prepare for the German Reich once we do invade them. Let's name this something cool. I'm going to name it um, Krakens. All right, a destiny fulfilled. The UK does indeed give us control of Labrador and Newfoundland. Very nice. Let's start producing more stuff for the Soviet Union because they need a lot of stuff. Next up, Polymer Corporation. Me and the UK are best buddies for real. The fall of Moscow. Uh-oh. Actually, we may be cooked because it's extremely difficult to invade the Germans without the Soviets. Well, for me at least. Our navy is taking like decades to repair them. I, I need to go ahead and move these militaries over to England here. Get prepared for a naval invasion. Finland and the Soviet Union finally wipe peace. That's good. That means they're going to be able to possibly take out a bunch of German divisions with that. So that's good. All right, next up is war fuel. Actually, we're going to do air production. There's atomic research. Next up, nuclear reactor. We're going to naval invade a hamburger first. This is I've had the most luck invading this, so that's what we're going to do. Let's do convoy raiding on the Germans right now. Actually, we're going to do naval invasion support. Screw them. We have no naval force. All right, let's test our luck with invading Germany here. Let's see. Can we do it, possibly? Heavy resistance? It's possible, though. This is pos This is definitely possible. I'm going to go ahead and build infrastructure in the, in the entire United States now. Yeah, what we're going to do is begin convoy raiding the Germans. I need to train these marines up here. I'm going to train the entire military as well. Soviets have kind of stopped the Germans. 
we have a lot of equipment right now. Let's see. Okay, we're max trained. Let's go ahead and stop training everything and start planning our another naval invasion. Let's see if our military can do it this time. All right, let's see. Naval invasion support. And let's try it. Let's see. Also, we just unlocked the nuclear reactor. It is so over for everybody. Now that we can make nukes, we're going to go war field economy this is going to give us the this is going to give us booming economy which gives us 20 plus construction speed so that's always good another force attack on this guy let's see let's see i can't tell actually i think we are are we gonna land let's see we landed let's attack that port to make sure we take this port here um okay this is looking interesting give me at least three tiles here come on game we're gonna park our navy next to hamburg that just to get a attacking buff here they're just going to be throwing troops at this. They're just going to be throwing troops at that. We need to back out, though. Yeah, we need to get out of here. A naval landing is possible. That is good to know. We just got to try a bit harder. Maybe Denmark is the way to go, actually. Let's try Denmark. Why would they have a bunch of troops stationed in Denmark, right? Doesn't make sense, does it? Well, let's try. Let's try again. Let's see. Him. I just need that port. I just need a port. One port, we win the entire war. One port, we win the entire war. I'm telling you. There we go. Well, actually, we got to keep it this time, right? So, yeah. I'm not sure what we do here in this situation. All right, let's launch again and see what happens here. Okay. I'm definitely a fan of that. That's a lot of green. I like seeing green, man. Oh, yeah. I like seeing green. That's good. Oh, yeah. Green's a good sign. That's very nice. Let's get a beachhead here. Ah, here they come with the spam. It's the most excruciating experience I think I've ever had in this playing this game here. I've never had a m more worse experience than this right here. And what are the Brits doing? The Brits ain't doing a jack. They're just sitting back yeah, let the Canadians do the work for you, right? Screw you. If we could deploy our Air Force from the UK, that would be awesome. But for some reason, the game has it to where you can't deploy your Air Force when you have military access. It makes no sense. They need to fix that. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. If I, have, if, I have, if I have military access, you would think that I can move my airplanes in their airports. But no, it doesn't work like that for some reason. Race for the bomb. Well, my they're, wait, they're researching nuke. They're researching nukes as well. Jesus, man. And I can't naval invade them. Maybe we should invade nationalist Spain. Maybe that would be a good idea. That might be a good idea, actually. That would at least give us a base in Europe to funnel troops through. All right, let's try our... <laughs> let's get another naval invasion. I mean, it worked, but I don't know. I think we just... I, I guess we just mismanaged it, maybe really wait what the uk is fighting okay your number one priority is taking out the soviet union really the soviet union is saving us from germany as we speak right now okay do not kill the oh my they're really gonna do it they're gonna kill the soviets man oh my god <laughs> uk is gonna cook us man uk is gonna destroy us man this is unbelievable okay there's the port is that it that is all we were able to take. Yeah, we're gonna have to back out yet again. Great. Uh, another try, I guess, shall we? Again and again until there is nobody left in the country. All right, let's. <laughs> I can't keep saying that. Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh wow! Wait, are the UK is the UK doing something finally? Oh my gosh, dude! Wow! Look at that. The UK does something. Rare moments. It's like I'm Germany in this situation, and the UK is Italy. Like they're not doing anything. I've decided to start building a spy network on Germany. Maybe that will help us through this war. I also have 74 nukes waiting to be detonated on Germany. If this doesn't work, I'm not sure what, what it's going to. Okay, you know what? We're ready. We're ready. Let's go. Again, shall we? I'm clicking on the port. Look. Port's right there. I'm click clicking on it. But for some reason, the troops don't want to invade that. They go to the tiles next to it, which makes it extremely difficult for us to escape in case the invasion fails. It's like the game is setting us up for failure or something. 
Let's launch a naval invasion. 24, an army of 24 highly trained marines. Let's go. Oh, we instantly broke the Nice. All right. We got the airport. Okay. Deploy this air force ASAP. Yes. Okay. I would consider that kind of a beach, a beachhead. Just the amount of divisions they have. It doesn't even matter. This is excruciating right now. I need more Krakens. That's the problem here. We need more Krakens. Like I, I need to like naval invade everything. Over 800 divisions in the field. What, what am I missing? Why do you have over 800 divisions? Fuck it. I'm going to try to go for Norway, dude. Like seriously. Last resort. Can we get a, can we get a foothold in Norway so we can bring some airports into them? Last resort, bro. Last resort option, dude. Literally. We took Oslo and that was it. Oh wait, I see hope. I see hope. There is hope at the end of the tunnel. We have air support. We have air superiority. We can bring the nukes in. Oh, there's hope. We can bring the nukes in. Oh man. My hope has been restored, dude. I was I was running on nothing there. I, I don't know. I was thinking we were just absolutely cooked right there, but uh, we're going to bomb the entirety of Denmark. Screw him. If I have to drop 10 nukes per tile in order to take a tile, I'm going to do it. All right, we're going to go for it again. Let's launch. And this time, I am, I am detonating everything. Everything is going to get bombed into oblivion. I'm landing, and then we're going to nuke divisions after we land. Let's go. There they go. Oh, it's oh man, <laughs> that's um, that is definitely a good feeling right there. Look at that, Germany, Canada, and Germany. Look at that. That's also nice. Uh, yeah, we're not done yet. Now it's Italy. Now Italy's the problem, isn't it? The great Canadian army is coming for you, Italy. I would say after Germany, Germany and Italy were basically an unstoppable force at that point. I mean, yeah, we have we would have both of their economies, both of their navies. Yeah, twelve hundred planes. There's no way they have enough to counter them. Yeah, see, now we have the air. I'm about to drop nukes on Italy as well right now. Let me just deploy the strategic bombers. We blew it up. I swear I can't catch a break. A break is just not possible, is it? I thought the war was going to be over right after that, but nah. The, the, the French just had an army waiting to... Oh, great. Here we go. We're working through the allies. I just want to march back into Germany. I thought we had it after they capitulate them. But um, I was in for a surprise after I saw the Italian divisions. Man. All right, let's beat Germany a second time here. It's just a waiting game at this point. I need the Soviets to save me because I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can continue this. Yeah, every single tile, every single tile, there's a division. Like, there goes Rome. Hold up. Oh my gosh. It's just Vichy France left. I'm about to go crazy. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to go insane, bro. We're finally going to finish the war. Wow. It's over. It's, it's over. Oh my gosh, we did it. Oh yes, we're the strongest as well. Yes. Okay, we can end this game. Not only are we first, Japan is second. Let's see. So, we have Canadian Germany. Very cursed, but I like it, okay? Next up, we have Canadian Italy. Very cursed, but I like it, okay? After that, we have... Canadian Japan. Very nice. Next up, Canadian Philippines. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta keep in mind that Japan is also ranked two in the rankings, and they're a puppet of us, which is pretty crazy. So as Canada, this is a mo this is most definitely a successful game. Uh just a little bit excruciating, I will say. So let's get a country overview. Service by requirements, export focus, war economy, elusive gentleman, political war course, stability guy, popular figurehead. Army offense, decisive battle, air reformer, commando, air superiority, artillery attack guy, military theorist. Here's our focuses that we did. Just like that. Down to warfield economy, force Quebec conscription, communist path, concessions for Labrador, Newfoundland. I did that just so I would know they would accept because they always do accept them. Let's see, what else do we got here? 100 stab, 50 war supports. Our, here's our research. Yeah, I'm just going to breeze by this as well. 
no tanks like i said i'm not really a tank guy i need to do more research into that and figure out how to make good tank divisions that probably would have helped with the end game right there if i'm being honest and, and our manpower artillery naval which we haven't done anything yet naval support air engineering maxed out that looks clean i like them here's our industry intelligence agency that's what it looks like um resources we are rich come on now we own the united states we have 158 nukes i'm pretty sure we're the only country with nukes besides germany i remember germany does did some research on the nukes that is the country if you're wondering why we don't have a military let's just say something happened in germany uh, i'm not going to elaborate you saw the video that's why <laughs> <laughs> that is not though god i hope you enjoyed this video as me playing canada and becoming a global hegemon of the entire world it was definitely an experience if it's daytime for you have a good day if it's nighttime for you have a good nice rest and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out